Ka Lofa, let's learn to play Siva Afi, the Fire Knife Dance of Samoa. Before we start, if you've never seen Fire Knife Dancing, pause this video and do a web search. Fire Knife Dancing is an important part of Samoan culture, a dazzling spectacle, and great exercise. It can be dangerous, so you should not attempt it in real life without expert supervision. However, if you want to experience the thrill of fire knife dancing without all the cuts, bruises, and second degree burns, this card game is for you. In Siva Afi, you are a dancer practicing and performing fire knife moves. You score points by performing the best dances. The first player to score a certain number of points wins. What's in the box? There's a rule book, a few player aid cards, and the main deck. The yellow side of this card tells you how many points you'll need to win which depends on the number of players. For example, if you've got four players, you'll need 45 points to win. The gray side has to do with what makes a legal dance. We'll get back to that. This card shows whether everyone is practicing the blue side or performing the tan side. Like all the cards in the game, it has both Samoan and English text. It also shows you what you can do on your turn. Each player also gets one of these cards. During a performance, this will be in front of you with the green side up if you're dancing, or the red side up if you're drumming. Finally, the main deck contains 100 cards. These are moves you can perform and mistakes that you can play on other players. To start, place the practice perform card, practice side up, face up in the center of the table. Put the victory next reference card where everyone can reach it. Give each player a dancing drumming card, and then shuffle the deck and deal each player seven cards for their hand. I've set up for a three player game here, but Siva Afi works for two to six players. The more the merrier. The person who has most recently ignited a fire goes first, and play proceeds clockwise. When the game starts, we are practicing. While we're practicing, you can do one of three things on your turn. You can draw a card and add it to your hand. This makes your hand larger. There's no limit on the number of cards that you can hold. Second, you could discard any number of cards and draw the same number of cards to add to your hand. This makes your hand better. Finally, you could start a performance. To start a performance, Flip over the Practice Perform card. Make sure everyone's Dancing Drumming card has the dancing side up. Until the performance is over, nobody can draw any more cards. The audience is here, and you've got what you've got. The person who started the performance is going to go first. During a performance, you also have three choices for what to do on your turn. One, add a move to your dance by putting it on the table face up in front of you. Two, play a mistake on someone else, or three, end your dance and start drumming. You do this by flipping over your dancing drumming card. Once everyone is drumming, the performance is over and the player with the best dance scores. Before we get into the details of moves and mistakes, let's see an example of a dance. Suppose I started the performance, so I'm going to go first. I'm going to start my dance with a battle cry. This player is going to start with a helicopter, and this player starts with a river of fire. Now it's my turn again, and I'm going to add another card to my dance, a hand light. This player over here now decides that they don't think they can win this dance, so they're going to start drumming. They can't play any more cards during the dance, but they could still conceivably win. This player over here adds another card to their dance, a spinning toss. I do a neck pass. This player is drumming, so we're back here, behind the back catch. And now I'm going to play a mistake on them. I'm going to play awkward grip, which means they have to discard the last card in their dance. It's their turn again, and they're going to add another card, an under the leg catch. And I'm going to add a horizontal side spin. On their turn, they decide this is all they've got, so they're going to start drumming. And now I have the stage to myself. So I'm going to add a pass under the back, 
and a behind-the-knee finish to my dance. I have nothing else to do, so I start drumming, and the dance is over. Now we look at who has the best dance by adding up the numbers on the cards. This dance is worth four points. This dance is worth four plus two plus four, ten points. And this dance is worth 18 points. I have the best dance, so I score 18 points. Discard all of the cards that were played during the dance. Flip over the drumming dancing cards and the perform practice card. And then we resume practice, starting with the player to the left of the last player to play a card. Do not deal out new cards at this point. If you spent your whole hand in the last performance, you're going to have to rebuild it one card at a time while practicing. That's the game. Keep going until someone has scored enough points to win. Let's take a look at the moves. There are nine suits. Intros, lights, rivers, passes, spins, ground moves, tosses, catches, and finishes. On each card, you'll see Troy Sofotu's fabulous artwork. The number at the upper left is the value of the card. The color and shape of the symbol behind it indicates the suit. Here's the name of the move in Samoan and English. Here's the name of the suit. And the symbols at the bottom show what can come next. For example, a spin, which is a yellow circle, can be followed by a pass, orange diamond, a ground move, green square, a toss, dark blue cup, or a finish, purple octagon. You don't have to do all of these moves, and you don't have to do them in that order. This is just a limit on the next card you add to your dance. It has to be one of those. Cards that other people played and cards that are no longer in your dance due to a mistake don't matter. This reference card shows the constraints for all of the suits. You also cannot have more than one move of the same suit in the same dance. The audience gets bored by repetition. The rules for legal dances are the most complicated part of the game, so let's see some examples. These are legal dances. Light, ground, toss, catch, spin. This is a perfect dance involving all nine suits. If you ever pull this off, you win the entire game immediately as soon as you play the ninth card. It's rare, but it does happen. In this one card dance, you toss the knife in the air and walk off stage, a flaming mic drop. Here are some dances that are not legal. You can't start with a catch. You can start with any other suit, but a catch has to be preceded by a toss. If you do an intro, the next move has to be a light. This dance is illegal because you cannot have two moves of the same suit in the same dance. Now let's look at the mistakes. You can only play a mistake on someone if they're dancing and have moves on the table in front of them. Awkward grip makes someone discard the last card in their dance. They can keep adding to their dance on their next turn, but this can be nasty if you make them discard a light or a catch and they don't have another one. Fumble is even worse. They have to discard their entire dance. Again, they can play another move on their next turn, but they're starting from an empty dance. The nastiest card in the game is, yeah, it's on fire. This makes someone discard their entire hand. Their dance stays on the table, and they could win this performance if it's the best dance, but they can't play any more cards because they don't have any. And that's how you play Siba Afi, the Fire Knife Dance of Samoa. You can buy the game from thegamecrafter.com at this address. If you have any questions, please ask in the comments below. Fafatai lava!